welcome to moving day. Today is the day that we're going to move Wonderlock stuff. So I just went by the bakery to get the durum bread. I love durum bread, it's my favorite. And um, Julianne should be on her way very soon. Andreas is gonna come help move everything down into the trailer. And Lisa is gonna come from Yulen with a trailer later today. So I'm just going to grab a piece of bread and then I'm gonna get cracking, packing down because I actually haven't started yet. Um, it's half past nine, I'd say, and Lisa's gonna be here at one o'clock. So there is a lot of packing down to do, and I have not begun yet. So a quick bread, and then we're gonna get cracking. I am going to fill this up with vintage pieces. It's a very big square box. little kind of before video yeah it's a mess <laughs> so these are the pieces that are currently on the web shop those are the ones that I'm putting into this and like it's almost completely full I still have this and shirts in there like shirts and blouses this is like crazy and all of the hangers I think I'm gonna need an extra box. Just don't know if I have an extra one. <laughs> Julianne just went to go get herself a booster and to get a cover for me. We've been packing down so much. It's actually crazy. Lisa is on her way now and also it started raining. But I'm gonna show you the progress. It's absolutely crazy in here. So this is the state of my bedroom. It looks like I am actually moving. It looks like I am packing down my life. It's absolutely crazy. So if you walk through here into the packing room, we have made it pretty far. Say so Julianne have packed down all of the products like shampoos and stuff. And then I have packed down all of the vintage and all of the clothes that was here. We just need sweaters like these and these over here, as you can see. So yeah, we have packed down quite a lot and we've actually made it to the point where we can't pack, pack down any further because we need boxes and we need plastic bags and stuff. So um, Lisa's going to be here in half an hour. It's really raining now and Julianne just left. I'm going to text my brother to hear if he will come by in half an hour's time and um, help. But why? Why is it raining now? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy we've actually managed to fill up this trailer with stuff from like stock from my extra room that's crazy it looks like I'm packing down my apartment I'm not I'm just packing down one tiny room it's nuts but we're almost done almost only need one more shelf that we have completely completely like broken apart and when that's down it's pretty much it i'm gonna show you the room it's empty and very dusty but what a day and also what a workout because we've been walking on the stairs all day so it's a leg workout and it's an arm workout
Hey guys and welcome to Friday. It's no longer moving Tuesday and Wednesday. It was absolutely crazy. We moved out all of the stuff from my apartment, took them down into a trailer, then drove them all the way to Yulet, packed it all out again. And the difference from when I had the stock here to where it's going to be now is that I just knew where everything was. So nothing had like a certain product number or anything. But in Yulan we had to give everything numbers and sort them out in like boxes and stuff for it to be very organized and easy for other people to pack. It will of course mainly be Lisa who knows all of the products who will be packing in Yulan but there will be some people coming in sometimes to help us out so therefore everything had to be very organized but it was crazy. And then yesterday, Thursday, I spent a long time just like cleaning this space it was so dusty and i kept like go i was walking around here like sneezing all the time so we i spent a long time cleaning in here yesterday and then like making it all cozy in here so i just want to show it except from this that's going to be gone soon this is all going to go to the trash station it's just some bu big boxes but besides from that it's actually really cozy in here so of course i would like to show you my new office space I took down the tapestry that hang here because I want to do something nice if I want something to hang there. And then when you walk in here, you can now see all of the coming vintage pieces. So, and also some new products in general. But like new vintage pieces over here, I've hung them up and I've also organized them over there in categories so that I can see when like we don't have more shirts as an example and we need some new shirts. And then I've also made an office space for myself over there that I think is really nice. My brother and Matilda are actually moving quite soon. So I um, got this table from them. And then I got this big world map that I'm going to hang up over my table. And then I'm actually going to put small uh, sticker diamonds on the world map um, on all of the like, countries that we have shipped to. So that's going to be so much fun, like putting diamonds on here. Um, and that's actually the purpose of that. And then over here, as you can see, I do have, still have cardboard boxes that we're going to throw out. And then some garbage over there from organizing. And also a bag for a charity shop with like stuff that I don't use anymore. And then I'm actually going to use this wall down here as a photo studio background. So I'm looking at some lighting. And then I want to be able to shoot new vintage pieces in this room. So I'm looking for like good lamps to do that. And like, I don't know, I need some good stuff to shoot products in here. And then this is actually going to be my office space slash studio place. And it's going to be awesome. So yeah, it's been tough, but I am so over the moon excited about having a nice office space in my apartment. I've really needed that. I have mainly been like working from my living room, so at the table or actually in the sofa, sometimes in the kitchen. But it's going to be so nice to have a space that when I'm like done working for the day, I can actually just leave things, walk out of the room and then I can get back to it the day after. It's going to be so nice. I'm really, really excited and I used it for the first time today. It's been great. So that was just an update on the past few days and what I've been up to. Today I'm actually heading to the city. I have a friend who is a hairdresser um, and she said that I could drop by and then get a haircut. So I might actually do that walk to the city soon. And I also have some errands to run. I have some things that I need that I'm just going to go get. Um, and yeah, I think that's the plan. I really like that I don't have a normal chair in here. But I actually think I might have to get a real like comfortable computer tra chair chair <laughs> um, because this one has no back so I'm actually hurting my back a little bit I can feel now so I might have to do that I have not gone to the city yet because the weather turned pear-shaped so it's been raining a little bit now it looks like it's getting better and then I'm hopefully going to head towards the city soon might bring my mom if she had time and um yeah i'm excited to see if i'm going to get my hair cut and how much length i'm gonna lose i think i'm gonna lose like this much 
because this down here is like super damaged so I'm, I'm guessing like this we'll see it's like some days just flies by and um yeah i don't know what happened but i made it to the city yesterday had so many errands to run i wanted to get my hair cut and then time just flew and i forgot that i brought with me my vlogging camera so as you can probably see i have now got a haircut for the first time i've been to a professional what are you doing hairdresser for the first time in six years and this is the result i think she cut off like this amount of hair down here so all of the very like damaged bits and then she also used curl cream she had a good curl cream she used that in my hair so that's what you can see i think for my own personal taste that this is a little bit too greasy i feel like ross or the guy with the hair product from coming to america like i feel or maybe like an 80s person i feel like it's a little bit too puffy for me right now because my hair isn't that long so i don't know i don't feel 100 percent comfortable with it being so puffy and a little bit greasy but this was my first haircut in six years at a hairdresser and it was cozy because i knew the hairdresser it is expensive to go to a hairdresser which is something that i have completely forgotten since the last time i was there and um <laughs> yeah but now i have some fresh tips and i'm really happy with that so um i'm sorry that i did not actually take you there yesterday like take you with me to the hairdresser and take you along with me in the city running all of these errands but it just I don't know it was a very busy day in the city because the election here in Denmark has begun so there were so many people like handing out roses just flyers candy and there were a lot of people because it was Friday afternoon so it was crazy and I'm sorry I did not walk but this is the result what do you guys think we were talking about actually cutting it a bit shorter up to here but since i want to grow it long it would make sense like i want long hair so quickly i'm gonna have to be so patient it's gonna take the best of me but yeah this is the new hairstyle and i'm pleased with it so thank you for watching this vlog i'm gonna end it here because it's like over so many days that it's a little bit out of hand by now i don't have any idea how many how much footage i have but i'm gonna end it here so if you enjoyed it leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you aren't already that would be awesome i do have some upcoming videos that i want to do i just have to find time to do them um, and i think i will in the next few weeks because now that the stock is out of here it's all cleaned organized i can actually start like preparing for some of my new videos video ideas and like yeah i have some things that i want to do and also the a day in luna's life will also come up at some point within the next new future hopefully so yeah leave a thumbs up i'm gonna see you all soon and um have an amazing weekend bye